Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you how to play some Twitch AD carry. For those of you who really enjoy Twitch jungle, I would recommend trying to swap him over to the AD carry role. It's a very slow startup, but his scaling is debatably the best AD carry in the game. Just behind Aphelios, Ash, and Ezreal. Those are the top three right now that are uh, they're pretty out of control. But yeah, Twitch jungle, I mean uh, Twitch AD carry as by far one of the best scalings. And we're actually going to be going Man Moon Twitch. If you want to go Man Moon Twitch, going Presence of Mind is huge. It helps your scaling. Also, even if you're not going Mana Moon, if you don't want to go for Mana Flow because you want Nimbus, then you should really consider going Presence of Mind because you run out of mana really fast in lane. Your W level 1 costs 70 mana, which is crazy. Your E's 50 and your Q's 40, so your mana costs are fairly pricey. I'm going to leave a ward there. It's very common for Callista and Bromp to cheese. You normally want to start E. If you're shoving lane, then you'll take Q level 2, but normally you don't want to shove, so you want to normally take W level 2 and let them push into you. Alright, we're going to run this way. We're going to have to go the long way around. We don't want to run into them if they're waiting in bush. Callista with Braum, Callista with Thresh, Callista with any kind of all-in support is super dangerous level 1. And uh, there's a good chance they might have done that. So we're just going to chill. The closer you are to the minions, the easier they are to last hit. And we missed two right off the bat. Feels good. We didn't quite get there in time. And with our E, it was not really likely to secure all of them. We're just going to chill back. And uh, let them shove to us. They have a Camille jungle who's very gold hungry. Very likely to gank straight after a buff. Camille is basically a melee twitch jungle. So I wouldn't recommend shoving up. You need to pay attention to their jungler. For your first item, like I said, we're going to be rushing mana moon. It's only 2400 for what it gives. It's really, really strong. And then we could either go for a Bork or just get our tier 2 boots. And I heal. I'm on my lethal tempo right now. Got him. He's fighting on my minions. I'm going to kite him back. Got him. That's the power of lethal tempo. They took that long all in trade and were chasing my Janna. Meanwhile, I had my lethal tempo and I was just tearing into them the whole time. That's the difference maker. If they don't have lethal tempo and you do, you should be able to win that interaction. I'm actually going to have to shove this. This is a really uncomfortable wave for me. Alright, we're going to get our W down to try to hit as much as possible. We'll hit the back line plus that minion. The wave got spread out, which kind of made it harder to get off a proper W. Alright, there we go. We're going to try to force them off. I don't think we'll be able to. We have a huge mini wave that they actually try to fight us on this. Funny enough, they'll lose. We have our reinforcements. They're going to have trouble issues fighting us with the Janna pushing them off. We're just trying to dump this wave. We see Camille's over there. We're going to head over. Try to help our kindred. Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to help. I'm just going to go ahead and reset. I'll, I'll chill right here. So we're actually doing really good. Getting early gold on Twitch isn't common unless they try to all in you and you can kite back towards turret. It's not going to happen very much. Your first item you're going to want to do if you're going for the Monmo build is a tier. We can't afford anything else. We'll just pick up boots and preferably a refill potion. You don't have to go refill. You can just get a normal potion. But uh, if you're going to have to only wait 5 seconds or less, might as well pick it up. So first item rush normally 850 for the tier and then you can go for pickaxe finish man moon only 2400 it lets you out power spike most 80 carries just since this full item is insanely cheap. After you have mana moon if you're already in the team fighting you can go for runons if you have an enchanter support to help keep you alive. Otherwise after man moon get your tier 2 boots get bork and then runons and normally you don't want to get runons with the man moon setup until your man moon is completely evolved into muramana that way you're Hurricane can AoE apply the mana moon. Once again, the closer you are to the minions, the easier they are to last hit. Your auto attack gets there faster. I'm going to need help on these, though. I don't have much AD. Yeah, there we go. Jan shielded me for it. Extra AD for me to get. I don't necessarily want to all in them. If you're going for the man moon build, once again, you're not going for kills on lane. It's just going to help you with your W and E pokes a bit. But uh, we're mainly doing it for full item. I think they know. I think they saw Kindred there. Okay, they didn't. 
I don't want to all in them. I only have tier. We're just going to chill. We have a really big minion wave building up here to where we're going to want to fight them. Okay, I'm going to hit her with the W. Get my lethal tempo up. My passive automatically applies the second part of lethal tempo, which increases the duration. Oh man, I missed it. That's fine. We got the cannon. We have a huge minion wave here. We can win this fight. Nice thing about having the tiers, it does let you get off more poke. Since we have the mini wave, I can step up and hit her. They don't have the minions to retaliate, and if they all in us, they're going to be fighting basically two and a half champions worth of minions. Peg them with an auto for the lethal tempo. Hit her with my W. Hit them with it both with an E there. Their mid laner is missing. Cast isn't particularly strong right now, though. We can do this. I don't think Cast is roaming is the thing. I need my Janna here. I can use the minions to block off the Braum. I use my E. We don't quite have the damage. That's all right. We got the Callista Flash. It's pretty good. Oh, wow. We actually pinched it. Not bad. Considering we have a tier and not a real AD item. Okay, we'll go ahead and stay for a plate or two. Camille must be here. The fact that Braum's just up here like this. You want to try to hit them with your W and the minions. That way you can proc your lethal tempo by hitting the champion with your W. Your passable proc it. Hit him with an E. Shove the wave. Alright, got cannon. We're going to hit the turret a few times. He just blocked my auto attack. Alright, that was awkward. We're going to go ahead and reset. We would have killed Braum. Bot, Flash, basically 12 minutes. Braum, it's a little later. Crystal, it's a little earlier. Gonna go ahead and reset. We can get quite a bit. Nearly the full Mana Moon. We'll get it on our next back. For now, we'll just get some Berserker Greaves. On Twitch 80 carry, you don't have to go Lethal Tempo. If you're looking for earlier trades in lane, all-ins, uh, you can go for Press the Attack. It's a lot better for short three auto trades with your E. On top of that, that's a really good option if you have an all-in support like a brand or a Nautilus, Blitzcrank, a support that's going to fight to the death early. If you're playing more for the mid-late game, you're playing more for level 6 and up, then uh, you can't go wrong with the lethal tempo setup that we have here. Smack with the W. E the whole wave and there we go. That's the power of one WE, and since we have Mana Moon and Presence of Mind, we have a lot of mana. Well, we don't have Mana Moon, but we have the tier and Presence of Mind. See Trindamir's top. Hit him with an auto attack. Get off a W. I just wasted my E there. I thought I still had a stack on the Braum. It just barely faded off. Got her. I guess she st still had flash. It was only Braum who flashed. We're going to use our invisibility speed up to try to stay on top of him. Alright, we, we just can't kill him. He's a little too fast. We needed to get off one or two more autos and then E. We just weren't in auto range. You normally want to E last since it has way more range than your auto attacks. That's normally how you end your combo. I think Camille must be nearby. But this guy just loves to stay. I shouldn't have used my Q. That was greedy of me. I don't know where Camille is. Hit him with my E. I think I, th I feel like Camille's nearby. The way he's stepping up, it's scaring me. That's why it was bad that I used my Q, because I wanted to, to be around the turret to try to hit it. But by using my Q, I'm putting it on cooldown. So then while I'm up, I'll have no escape if Camille does show up. She can only go in for short trades with Hella Blades. These long trades to the death, she's going to lose since we have Lethal Tempo. Alright, there we go. There we go. Still don't know where Camille is. I have my R though. I'm going to hit the turret once, get that play. 
Gonna both hit him with both with my E. It's about 60 damage, not much. Gonna max Q second. E first and your W last. You wanna see the runes, items, everything all in the perfect order. From the very start of the video, you'll find it all there. Hit her with an auto attack. Right as the turret, you tight kind of timing it with the turret shot. That way we can pinch it off. And it helps you to shove the waves too. Getting that huge lethal tempo attack speed is massive. We're gonna go ahead and back off. Braum has a lot of armor now. He just came back from base, and we could spend our gold. It wouldn't hurt. I don't particularly want to fight them right now. Yeah, we're just gonna back it full item, then we'll fight. There's no reason to be hasty and rush it. Alright, yeah, we'll go ahead and go straight for Bork. We're still really far off from being full Mana Moon. What I mean, Muramana, Mana Moon, every time you auto attack an X amount of time per 12 seconds, you get it helps you finish the item. And then once you're at 750 mana, turns into this bad boy, which gives you insane on hit damage, which your Hurricane and R should apply. So you'll be AOE applying it to everybody. Super busted. I can freeze the wave here. I don't have to shove. They have minion advantage. I'll just hold it here. This is where we want the wave anyways. This is normally where you want the wave on Twitch AD carry. You might have to thin it out so they don't hard dump it on your head. Like you want them to have more minions, but if they have too many minions, then it will crash into your turret and they'll reset the wave. Hit her with an auto attack W. Hit him with an E. Still have the wave in a favorable spot. I'll have the wave still in a really good spot here. It's hard for Camille to gank. She's pegging the wave. I'm going to counter peg it so she can't crash it. I'm going to get my lethal tempo going. I shred this chick. Oh my god, they actually won that. Oh man, they had a really good Brahm R there. They killed Janna really fast. I don't think Janna got a chance to use Ignite. That's rough. That's crazy that they won that fight with uh, their items. I guess that's because I didn't get any of the Janna heal. We didn't get the Janna Ignite off. That's fine. We'll win the next fight against them. I should stay closer to the Janna, close enough to where she can ult, but not close enough to where Braum's going to knock us both up with the Callista R. That's crazy that we lost that. Their heal was really, really big. We didn't have the Ignite in use. We can definitely win this fight. We have full item advantage. Uh, I should be able to get here. No Punisher. Oh, she never walk in the alcove like that. You're gonna get yourself killed. Can we chase this guy down? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and shove it. Oh, I don't know why Jan is still chasing. It's really awkward. I don't, I don't think Cass knows that I'm here. Yeah, he's greedy. Very greedy. All he had to do was back. <laughs> I was so greedy. Yeah. Gotta watch your positioning on Twitch. You're still very squishy. Uh, even if you have an item lead, you can get yourself killed really fast if you're not positioned correctly. What I should have done in hindsight, when they hard engaged, I should have kited back more towards the turret. I kited up this way. If I would have kited back towards turret, they would have had no way of killing me. Even if my Janna didn't play it correctly, it wouldn't have mattered. And that would have been the optimal move when they all end us for me to just kite back this way. Just keep kiting back, shoot, kite back, shoot, kite back, shoot, instead of going this way. Because then when Janna kind of, I don't want to say she got herself killed, but when she died and didn't use her ignite or anything, then I was up here and they could just pinch me. I 
they are just chilling, man. They are not uh, interested in. Thought they were gonna try to kill me, but they're just going for the ward. We actually don't want to push it. Looks like Camille's bot side. That's why they stopped hitting the wave. Yeah, Camille's just waiting. She's telling them to stop hitting the wave. Our wave's gonna be in a bad spot now. Camille doesn't even have a full item. Oh my god, my flash. I didn't get over the wall, dude. I kind of panic flashed there trying to get away, but I wasn't quite close enough. That really sucks. We're going to go ahead and finish off our Bork. These Brahmin gauges are fucking killing me, dude. The Kalista is just chunking them right on top of our head. We have to just sit back and relax until we start having some team fights with the tank. That Oriana play, though, that was sick. All right, let's just go back and chill under turret. We have our bilge water now. We're actually so strong. We're way stronger than the Callista is. It's just the Braum, dude. The Braum stun. We can't fight back. I need Janna to body block. That way I can kill Callista. I do more damage than Callista does by far. It's hard to get away from it. She might die. Nice. That really sucks. We have more items than the uh, Callista, but we can't fuck with her. Uh, I guess. I, I guess. We just gotta let Janny use the ignite in her own time. It's really hard for us to pinch off the Callista when she heals herself. It's all good. We'll be playing for the team fight. We'll scale into it quite nicely. At this point, we could really sell our refill potion. We don't need it since we have so much life still. We'll go team fight now. We've lost our turret. At this point, when you lose your turret to the bot lane, you can't really dabble down there anymore. You gotta just group with the team. Normally, you group around mid turret unless that's down. In which case, you'll group on the last outer turret unless the enemies are randomly going for like your tier 2 bot lane turret. I'm gonna chill in the back. Preferably, I'd like to get that. There we go. As long as we chill in the back, we're fine. Save this, max Q second. There we go. Save the wave. Save the turret. Clista, that's a big mistake. She shouldn't be bought right now. She should be mid. There's nothing for her to get down there. If she pushes up her second turret. It's too risky. I hope they stay down there. I can go grab the wave for free. They should have been mid. I think they're going to keep pushing it. We'll wait right here in the middle. So if they go middle, we can go middle. If they go bot, we'll go bot. Yeah, it looks like they, uh, they're, they're bot still. Want to get on top of her. Hit her with my auto attack W with my Bork. Malphite has them flanked. This is really, really good. I can't really get to uh can't really get to them. That Brahm R is really tough. Bit of a waste on my R there. Oh well. We weren't gonna be able to kill anyone anyways. Not a huge loss on that. I don't know why we gave up mid turret. That's all right. We're just gonna play for the scaling. That's the one of the worst parts about Twitch. When you get a little too aggro in lane, even when you have an advantage, especially if you're going for the Mana Moon build, you'll be fairly weak. If we went for the Bork Rush over Mana Moon early after we got that double kill, we definitely would have stepped on their heads. I think Cass is just hiding, trying to reset. That lethal tempo, I'm gonna chunk this wave down. Put an auto on each one, inside my W, E, it's gone. 
as long as as long as you stay with someone who can pill for you like a support or a tank you should be fine we're gonna pull this away from their bushes they're likely to be here soon it's really really good we're actually ahead and see us now ahead of our uh ahead of Callista. we also have dragon advantage i think he's gonna go for golems He actually didn't. That's shocking. We'll just go ahead and grab them then. Kite him out. He messed up his thing on us. Got him. We really didn't need the Jan Ignite. I had all my six stacks of my poison on him. I could have pressed E D. He looked like he's about to flash or spin the wall. I have my R. I'm going to go for the Callista. Her cast is over here. Oh my goodness. I just healed the uh, Kindred. Barely kept her alive as her triumphant healing kicks in. We'll go ahead and snag Dragon. On Twitch AD carry, sometimes that when you're coming out of base, if the enemy laners are shoved up really far and they're super low, you can actually gank them before you head to your lane. You never really had that opportunity this particular game, but that is something you can look for. that go ahead and take these Callista's still dead she just spawned in we think we could take these as well putting their Camilla really far behind and getting ourselves really far ahead ping it try to communicate with your support through pings don't type too much this shouldn't be warded I really want that. I really want that. And yeah, she's dead. You like that damage? We have our full uh, Muramana now. We hit like a freaking truck, dude. We are hitting like an absolute truck. I need a ward in that bush. Oh, the Brom Guardian saved them. Oh, we still got her. Nice. That is fantastic. Absolutely amazing there. I'm going to chunk these down. Let's dump this in. Having that full Muramana, you should be hitting it around the 20 minute mark. You can hit it as soon as 15 or even sooner if you're lucky. You'll normally hit it around 15 depending on how early you get it. Yeah, we're just trying to I already have that word so we might as well wait over here so we can catch them off we can do this we can do this we can I just need my queue up my Muramana hits like a truck dude I'm getting 80 AD from it which is insane and on hit damage believe all right our teammates are getting picked we need to pull off This isn't going to work out for us. I'm trying to get my W down. I ulted a little soon. Yeah, I'm dead. I can't get that fucking Braum off me. <laughs> that Braum is brutal. The uh, I'll, I got to give props to the Cass and the Camille. My invisibility was running out. While you're invisible, you have a speed bonus. And obviously, you're invisible. Right as I engaged on them, they reacted so fast and pulled off the Malphite that I didn't really have time to kill them. Go ahead, pick up our Runons, then we'll go for a Phantom Dancer. Or we we'll, could actually go for a QSS, honestly. We're just getting gouged by that stun. Yeah, I'll just go for a QSS and then I'll get an Infinity Edge. I'm not going to get Phantom Dancer this game. I have the Janus Shield. It is brutal, though, dealing with that Brawl, man. That stun is vicious. He's one of the most ignoring supports for you on Twitch because he blocks your ults with his shield and it's just a pain in the butt real pain in the butt there I need 
need my Jana to come. It's an awkward situation. I don't know if it's worded. My Bork's up. My QSS is up. I'm only going to use it if I get stunned. Oh. See, that's the issue. I can't hit her. That should have been 120% free. I did roughly half her health off of two auto attacks, but then I, I can't auto her. That is a huge issue. That is a huge, huge issue. Hmm, man, Braum is... So what, uh, there's two champions you may be wondering that you ban on Twitch. The main one is Yasuo and Jax. If they're both banned, banning Braum isn't that bad. His shield is so annoying, dude. That should have been so free on the Callista. She has zero armor. We have triple we have triple item and a half. She only has double item. And we just can't kill her. We just can't kill her, man. It's really painful. Let me go grab red buff. Once you have hurricane, feel free to take red buff away from your jungler. I mean realistically you should ask first, but we're really fed. We could do a lot more good with it than she can. Trust me, Twitch needs it. Looks like their trending mirror took it. Feels bad. Wow, dude, he would not die. Holy cow. His art lasts forever. I'm gonna queue in there. I still have my QSS and Bork. I need to try to position towards the back. Gotta be patient. All right, we can go in now. Get our W down. We have our lethal tempo up. Oh, it's wrong, Braum. That doesn't feel too good, does it? Oh, you guys like that. Mm. Let's go. We're gonna run her down. Very nice. That's what it should look like in a team fight. You don't wanna be too early with your R. Which you want to wait for. At that time, I waited really well. You need to wait for them once they're past the point of no return. So once they swing at you, Braum stepped way too far up. So I, I auto attack, throw down a W, then I use my R. You don't want to use your R unless you know you can get at least four or five autos off of it. Because if you use it at max range, you're not going to land anything unless your team does a massive engage. So you need to wait until it makes sense. There, I actually held on for a really long time. There, Braum got greedy, he stepped forward, used his shield a little premature, and I had my lethal tempo up and ready, so I just lit into them really hard. This is my Q attack speed. Very nice. Trinimir's on our base. I don't know if this is warded. We do have Dragon Soul. Kalista's probably on gold, she's gonna cross back through mid. Yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah, there she is, too. I have my R. I'm going to flash the Braum. Preferably just get on the Clista, though. There we go. Hit him with that E. Get that W on myself. Kite it out. Mm, hit him with that bat E. The E has so much more range than your autos. Your E actually has more range than your R as well. Not bad. We chunked him down pretty low. Yeah, buddy. That's the power of Twitch late game, guys. You, if you're going to go the Man Moon build, you're ridiculously strong mid late game. Do be careful about your early game trades, especially if it's something like a Braum. He's one of those few supports where just with his shield mechanic alone, even if you're full item... If you goof up a bit, he can really make you pay. And that's pretty much it, man. If you guys enjoy this Twitch 80 carry guy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.